Hey, I'm Lydia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about Disney's Dreamlight Valley Avatar Creator. That is like the lead up for the Dreamlight Valley game that comes out on September 6th. I first heard about this game over on Kang's channel, so shout out to him. I'll have his channel linked below, but I saw him creating an avatar and I was immediately interested in the game. I love life sims, I've always played them and I had never even heard of this game. I immediately bought the pre-order and started playing with the Avatar Creator. The Avatar Creator is a free program. You don't have to pre-order to play it at all, but it's been fun to like just play around with the options and see what Disney has coming in this game. The first thing that really caught my eye is that there's no gendering in this game at all, which is amazing. And so you literally just start out with your body type and your body shape. So are you broader in the hips or the shoulders? And so I went with the hips, but if I chose the shoulders, this is what my character would look like. And of course you can change, you know, the body comp from there. And so let's go back to what I chose. The next thing is body shapes. You can choose between six body comps. And so you have more of a pear shape here. You have a really slender shape here. You have a more full figured option here and then a muscular option here as well. Next is the skin tone range. There are 17 skin tone options to choose from. And as a black person seeing so many options for skin tone range made me so happy. Like usually in a game like this, you don't see a lot of range for melanated skin, but here you can see so many options. So I'm gonna zoom in on my avatar's face and you'll see the range. So I'm gonna start the lightest and go all the way to the deepest. So here we have it starting out. And I feel like some of these skin tones are a little on the rosier side, but that might match the game aesthetics. So it is what it is. But around here is where we get into the more melanated skin tones. And you can really see the rosiness or the red undertones I'm talking about with this eighth one. I didn't mean to click it, sorry. And then continuing on, I love this color right here. Keep going. Next one here. Second to last of the darker shades. And this is the final one. Like beautiful, a beautiful skin tone range. Like I said, some of them are more rosy or more purple undertone, but it's still a wider range than we've seen in many um, life sims like this ever, you know, other than the sims. Now, beyond that is something I've never seen in a game ever, and I'm sure there might be some game out there like this, but I've never seen vitiligo representation in a video game ever. And so here we have the lightest shade. I'm gonna take you all around the avatar so you can see the placement. And then I'm gonna zoom out for you so you can see it's completely all over the body. And then the medium, you can see here, and the placement stays the same no matter the um, skin skin tone. You can really see that there. And then the darkest shade here. Like, so beautiful. I also love that it's not 100% symmetrical. Um, on the legs, it seems to be, and the arms, but on the face, it's not. And I think that really adds to the beauty uh, of this character design. Like. So that's amazing. I've never seen vitiligo represented in any game ever. Um, and so that's, that's, that's really awesome. And last but not least is the hairstyles. When it comes to hairstyles, like I feel like they really heard the community speaking out and saying, we want more inclusive hair. And so when they were making this game, they put forth their effort. One note before I go and show you the hair options, something I would love to see on the facial options is facial piercing options. There's no like face jewelry, there's no option for like a nose ring or a lip ring or anything like that. And I would love to see some more options regarding that. All right, so you can change your hair color. Obviously you have a full range of hair colors. What I will say though is I went with the darkest color because as you can see, my hair is dark, dark brown and I picked black and this is what black is. It's, it's kind of like a purpley silver. I don't know what that's about, but let's get into the hairstyles because they've outdone themselves, but they can always do more, but they've outdone themselves already. All right, so starting out strong, yes, okay, with this Mickey ear Afro puff combo going on, look at the movement of her hair. It's giving volume, it's giving full body, it's giving movement, um, and we're, we're, we're honestly here for it. I love, of course, the Mickey ear puffs on the top, but they didn't stop there. Let's zoom in and just show you the texture, like these curls, these waves. I love it. So that's the first look. When you when you switch over to the hairstyles tab, this 
this hairstyle is not buried way down in the options. This is one of the top four, okay? And so I love that they're bringing textured hair to the forefront and not burying it down at the bottom, all right? So we've got this number right here, and then we have this one here, and this one is super, super cute. You've got the Afro puffs lower, and then a twist band across the forehead. And I wanna zoom in on this to show you something. Okay, we've got the twist, right, going across the forehead, and the curly puffs, you can see the texture on the puff. But flip her around, and you can see that they even went ahead and crisscrossed over the back. Like, the attention to detail on this is stunning, and it's beautiful, okay? You can see the texture here, and I love that they put in that effort, all right? Okay, let's move on to the next hairstyle. I'm skipping over the more straight, straight textured uh, hairstyles, looser textures, because I feel like those are usually heavily represented. I want to show you more of the less represented hairstyles for textured hair. All right, so moving on down, we have the mini dreads or twists. And let's zoom in on her here. Okay, straight, straight ends, pointed ends, um, and the twists or the dreads. I'm going to zoom in again and show you that it's, not, once again, it's not just a symmetrical build. Like they actually took their time and made this more dynamic. And I'm very happy to see that. All right, let's move to the next one. These are <laughs> the braids, the long braids in a half up, half down style. Waist length braids. She has, um, she has the little sideburn curl going on right here. I love that. The one thing I would love to see is a little bit of baby hairs right here. That would be that would be next level. It might be doing too much, but I don't think it is. And I would love to see it. I would love to see that. But still, a phenomenal hairstyle. Happy to see this and the movement. We love the movement there, okay? Next up is this one. Yes, a nice little short Afro cut, um, a tapered look, shorter in the back, longer up top. Okay, it's giving Miles Morales and I love it. I love it. Let's zoom in, texture. Okay, we love that. That's attention to detail, and I love that. Um, a clean hairline as well. Next one, you have the short twist with the part in the middle and the curl at the end. So the last like dread slash twist I showed you had like pointy ends, but these have a nice curl at the end. You can tell that she put that perm right at the end and turned it around, so happy to see this as well. So those are the twists, like short twists. Then we have the undercut and braids on top. So she has, oops, sorry, I zoomed in incorrectly. She has the undercut going on here and then her braids or dreads wrapped up on the top in kind of a knot. So that's really cute as well. And just so you know, these are gender inclusive hairstyles. So let's say that you picked a different body type. You pick the more broad shoulder body type. And we're gonna go to our hairstyles. You can pick any body type you want and have any hairstyle you want. There are some games that don't allow you certain um, hairstyles depending upon which gender or body type you choose, but that is not the case here and we're happy to see that. I mean, that looks so cool. All right, moving on, where was I? <laughs> moving on to the next hairstyle are the cornrows. Now I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, while I love to see cornrows in this game, this is my least favorite hairstyle of the of the diverse hairstyles because of this right here. What are we doing? What happened? I'm hoping that someone just forgot to like put the finishing touch on this, but this is not the look. I don't know. Mm -mm. This isn't really it. But the back, the back is telling me that she's about to go get a set of crochet braids put in or something. Um, I'm 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 not mad at the back, but I am very very irate at the sides. The sides leave a lot to desire. Also, once again, some baby hairs right here could, could really put it over the top. Maybe baby hairs could be like a hair option, like not available on, on every style, but like you can put them on or take them off. So if, you don't, if you're someone who doesn't like to wear shaped baby hairs, then you could just click it off. But if you do, it'd be there. So that's a little note. But yeah, this like side burn, whatever action is happening here, all the way to the nape of the neck, it's just not it for me, but I am glad to see cornrows in the game. All right, next hairstyle was the one I was wearing earlier. It is the one I'm wearing right now in real life, and it is just a curly bun. And I'm gonna zoom in for you so you can see the texture here. I will say that there's not really a lot of 4C representation, so some of these hairstyles have a looser curl pattern, which we'd love to see a little bit tighter curl pattern, but I am happy with this bun because this is 
how I wear my hair. Other than in braids, I wear it like this a lot. So next one, the Bantu knots. Yes, look at her. She's feeling herself for a second, but look at the Bantu knots. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, I love the star pattern in the back. The texture of her, of her hair closer to the scalp, you can see it has a tighter curl pattern there. And she has the baby hairs, okay? The, the edges are laid. <laughs> the edges are laid. So this is something they can do on other hairstyles. That's all I'm saying. Make it an option. Make it an option. That's all I'm saying. Um, but I love the fact that they put Bantu knots in this game. <sighs> just It just makes my heart happy to see so many hairstyles to choose from, okay? Next up is this one. This has, it's more of a short dread uh, with a design cut into the sides. All right, so the tapered look or undercut or whatever you want to call it with a design cut into the sides and then the mini dreads or twists on top with like the, the swoop over. It's a beautiful style. I love this. Love, love that one. That's probably, that's probably my top three of all of the inclusive hairstyles on this game. All right, next up, the Alexander Hamilton. Anybody? Is anybody wanting this one? I just think it's it's funny that they threw it in there. I'm happy that it's there. <laughs> it's, it made me laugh when I saw it, but I am happy that it's there. All right, so we have a couple more to go. Next one is this one. Okay, yes. All right. I feel like this would look cuter if I put a, a highlight on it. Oh, it's hair jewelry. It's hair jewelry. Okay, so for this one, they put in a little hair jewelry on it. Okay. So the highlights, you get this. Faded up underneath, and then the braids or the twists on top with hair jewelry. So that's a nice touch. I think we only have one or two left. Yes, we have our teeny weeny afro or shortcut, whatever you want to call this, a classic fade. But what I do love about this is the fade. Like they really brought it when you're when you're looking here at the the nape and up. We haven't seen this type of fade on any other any of the other hairstyles. Um, the rest of them kind of just look like a regular undercut, but this is a fade. Whoever designed this, well done. Like this is nicely done, nicely, nicely done. Beautiful hair texture, loving it, loving it. And the final one is the bald daddy look. Okay, um, glad that they included this because some games don't. In the future, I would love to see a couple of things change. Like I mentioned earlier, I'd love to see some facial piercings. That'd be really cool. I'd also love to see some differently abled bodies. Uh, I didn't see any limb differences. I didn't see a wheelchair or anything like that. And so I'd love to see that in the game in the future. And I think as a community, we keep asking for these things and eventually they'll bring it out. And I think that we should be asking for them. So it'd be great to see some some other things come out of this game. But yeah, I will be playing it on September 6th. I have my pre-order ready to go. And if you have any questions about the game or the avatar creator, let me know, are you going to play? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. And until then, Take care of yourself.